is your baby still feeding in the night? Do you think it is truly hunger or are you wondering how you can go about reducing or stopping night feeds? In this video, I'm going to show you how to tell if it's time to night wean and how to do this the right way for your little one. Of course, all new babies are going to wake in the night when they're hungry and it's important to feed them and meet this need. Depending on your baby's birth weight, growth and feeding habits, your baby may wait for feeds a couple of times a night for the first three to four months. Some babies can manage the whole night without feeding as soon as 12 weeks or three months. They're all different. To help your baby to get into a good feeding pattern and sleep pattern, you can encourage some rhythmicity right from day one simply by getting into a routine of feeding upon waking whenever possible and putting your baby down for regular naps. Many new babies will like to feed every three to four hours, so if you feed when they wake for the day, play for a while and then put down for a nap, you'll encourage a really good rhythm. Young babies don't always nap for too long. They sleep little and often through the day, so you might find that they're only awake for around 45 minutes before needing another sleep. A good practice to get into is to make sure your baby is awake at the end of every feed. Of course, the milk and the closeness will help them to feel sleepy, and that's great. It gets them ready, but we don't want to do the whole job for them with the milk if we can help it. So feed your baby and then rouse them enough to be aware before placing them down for a sleep. This practice will pay off big time in the weeks ahead. A good mantra to remember is feed to meet the hunger need, not to induce sleep. If you do you suspect that you might be feeding in the night to soothe your baby back to sleep rather than because he or she is hungry, if that's you, let us know in the comments and what it is that you're finding most challenging and we'll do our best to answer your questions. So let's look at night weaning. How do you know if your baby is ready? Let's run through a checklist. So firstly, look at their weight gain and their growth curve. Make sure everything is satisfactory there and that there are no concerns around calorie intake. If your baby is under three months, he or she probably does still need a little bit of milk in the night, even if you're down to just one feed. So age can be an indicator at that end, but beyond three months, it will depend on a lot of different factors. Is your little one taking on enough food or milk during the daytime? For some, especially over six months or more, the daytime appetite can be compromised because they're taking on milk in the night that they don't really need. So consider this if your little one's not so hungry in the day as much as you'd expect. Second on the checklist, how do they fall asleep at bedtime or at the onset of any sleep? Is it milk that puts them to sleep? If so, it is natural that they'll seek that same tool to get them back to sleep every time they wake. So work on the sleep onset and settle your little one after milk at bedtime, not on the milk. And number three on the checklist, respond to any night wakings without allowing them to actually fall back to sleep with milk. If they are hungry, feed them, but ensure they're awake at the end of the feed and aware of going back down to settle to sleep, like at bedtime. By doing this, you'll quickly see if there is genuine hunger at play or just a sleep onset association of milk. I came up with the idea of wants versus needs as something for us to consider in parenting because they're very different things. While the idea is easy to apply to some things like my child wants those sweets but she doesn't actually need them, the logic escapes us in the night when we're tired and when it comes to feeding and we wonder, does my baby just want this milk or does he actually need it? The checklist we went through will really help you to determine the answer. So remember, number one, review their overall daytime calorie intake, weight gain and growth. Number two, Assess how they fall to sleep at the onset of sleep and whether milk is playing a part in this. And three, decide how you will respond to night wakings and ensure your little one is feeding then sleeping, not feeding to sleep. A little fussing in the night doesn't mean your baby is hungry necessarily, so given a moment, she might just settle back off. So don't hurry in or be too quick to reach for the milk. It might not be needed. I just needed somebody to give me the go ahead so I could feel confident with this when my daughter was stirring in the night and I was surprised that she could be hungry. It turned out she wasn't. 
She was just having a brief night waking and then settling back off to sleep for the rest of the night. No milk needed. And that was at three months of age. So I know firsthand that some babies are ready at that age. Others take a bit longer. So do your checks and make sure you're meeting all those needs not once. <laughs> I'd love to know what you found helpful about this episode. Was there something that struck home or a nugget of wisdom that made you think, aha? <laughs> Let us know in the comments and please tag a friend or share this with your friends who might find it helpful for them too. It's such a kind thing to do and you can make a life-changing difference to someone like just literally just by sharing this. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in and until next time, stay happy and healthy and sleep soundly. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.